The challenge is now complete and we made a total of sales. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you the results of my seven day drop shipping challenge from scratch with a budget of just £250. But first of all, I just want to thank you for all your support, whether you've come from TikTok or the YouTube feed. It may sound minuscule, but achieving 10 subscribers is a landmark for me as YouTube something I've never done. So it means a lot that you guys are enjoying my content and it definitely motivates me to create more in the future. If you have any ideas for any future videos you'd like me to create, just leave it in the comments and I will definitely consider it for future content. Alongside that, feel free to ask any questions you'd like as well as I'll definitely get back to you within about 24 hours or so. So without further ado let's get straight into the results and we'll see if we're on the path to financial freedom with our product Treasure Trimmer. So in the previous video we showed you our ad sets for our first campaign and we showed you that we had nine different interest based targeting options from wax, hairstyle, hair products, razor, hair care, facial hair, beard, shaving, personal care, this is simply because we had no data. So we needed to choose the next best targeting option, which is gonna find potential buyers for our product. So we started running ads on midnight, Friday the 5th of August. Now I said, if we could get a couple of sales on the first day, then it's a very good sign. We did in fact get a sale, which is a good starting point. Could have been better, but a sale on the first day is a, uh, it's okay. And we'll show you the metrics here. So the amount spent was 41 pound 4p. The cost per 1000 impressions was one pound 30, which is very good, but this is quite broad. On the first day, it doesn't really know who to target. So one pound 30, you can't really read too much into that, but it's, it's not bad. The outbound click through rate, 0.95% could be a bit better but the broader it is the less people are going to click when you narrow in on your audience you're going to get a higher percentage of click-through rate because the targeting is going to be better so the cost per outbound click was 14p very promising signs this is on the first day i was very very kind of thinking okay this is not too bad at all cost per add to cart two pound five p really good really good i tried to aim to get a sale for every free add to cart so if you times that number by three you'd be making a sale every six pound but again because it's the first day you can't read too much into it cost per checkout initiated is generally one in two adds to cart so yeah four pound is about right and cost per result on the first day 41 pound 4p yeah one sale for the total amount that we spent on ads but in total 20 adds to cart on the first day i know it's only one sale to be honest we should have had more i mean even with a high add to cart to sale conversion rate, you'd still be looking at about two or three sales. So although we only made one sale, I was very intrigued at what, the, what was gonna come in the next days. So moving on to the next day, August the 6th, this is a Saturday now, same budget, cost per click, a little bit higher, not too much to worry about cost but add to cart 278 but on the second day we managed to make two sales so improvement there which was promising signs as well cost per result 20 pound 84 cost but add to cart still quite low 15 as cart on the second day building up some momentum and each and every day the facebook machine learning system is going to be kind of looking at who our best potential audience is going to be for this product the longer you run this the more narrowed down your targeting options will become and then moving on to sunday the 7th cpm's gone a little bit higher but this happens when it kind of starts working out your potential buyer outbound click through rate percentage so the percentage of people that see the ad to click on it 1.5 percent now this is this was under one percent on the first day but the better the targeting gets like i said before the higher this number tends to be cost per outbound click 18p pretty consistent at this point cost per ad to cart 1.82 which is really, it's really good, honestly, it's really good. Cost per checkout initiated, 522, and cost per result, £8.35. This is because we made five sales on the third day. Now, in terms of profit, I'll work it out for you on the screen, but we spent £41 on ads, and we made five sales. Now, the cost of this product is about £7.50 or so. On the third day, we're pretty much cold targeting. Our purchase conversion value, which is the total amount of sales we made in total, so five orders, is £140. So minus 40 from the ad to 100 pound, let's say minus another 35, 40 pounds. Again, it'll be on the screen. On the third day, we made about 70 pounds profit, which is crazy to be honest in such a low budget. So first three days, it's building up a lot of momentum and I'm very hopeful at this point. Then Monday the 8th comes round, it's starting to look pretty consistent cost per out, outbound click, cost per add to cart. We made five sales again on the next day, another very profitable day of about 60, 70 pounds. Then on the ninth, we only made two sales. Cost per outbound click at this point, it went up to 41p and the CPM's gone up a, a lot more and the cost per add to cart 
was £8.27 so this was a bit frustrating for me as I kind of got so I got really excited about the first few days especially having two back-to-back -back days of five sales so the cost per, per cost per result £20.69 but with only two sales because the product cost isn't that much we're making about £20 profit from the sale minus the product cost so even though we only made two sales on this day we did break even it's not disastrous by any means so then we head over to Wednesday the 10th and we only make two sales again cost per ad to cart a little bit lower but the cost per click still hovering higher than it was previously on the first few days but the click through rate has gone up to 1.8 percent so it does even out in some regard but yeah two sales another let's say break even kind of day then go around to the 11th we only made one sale so my head's kind of like all over the place at this point we've gone from making like five sales back to back to two sales two sales and then one sale and the cost per click's going up so at this point i'm kind of thinking okay fine maybe i need to set my expectations a bit a bit lower so we only had five add to carts and cost per purchase 41 pounds so yeah that's that's an l day pretty much and then coming around to friday the 12th we made three sales so we picked up again it's looking like it might do a little bit better on weekends at this point but yeah this is a profitable day so not bad at all so on saturday which is the weekend just gone we didn't make any sales up until the point that this thing happened but we spent 24 pounds in ads um, and then about two o'clock on my saturday afternoon i get a message from facebook saying that my advertising account has been restricted which is really frustrating and it's a very common thing with Facebook um, they're just very very strict um, about who they let advertise on their platform and if you have any kind of ad that's not good in any way or breaks their policy guidelines then they'll basically restrict you from ad advertising or ban your page or something like that but luckily luckily you can appeal this and in most cases if you're not doing anything wrong and you're following all the guidelines that they set out then they will review it and they'll reactivate your account so as of the day that i'm recording this footage uh, this morning they actually unbanned my ad account so i'm pleased to have done that because at the end of the day like my product is a men's shaving trimmer there's nothing inappropriate about it so a lot of the time their system is just pretty automatic there's not even a person looking it will just detect something abnormal that you would never even be able to point out yourself and it will just automatically block your account but luckily you can review it like I say and an actual human will take a view on it and they'll decide okay this is this is fine so that's the point we've got to but let's just calculate the total sales that we've made and minus the costs that we've incurred as well okay guys so you're looking at the results of 10 days worth of advertising and you'll see that in total we made $680 worth of sales which included 118 ads to cart, 69 people reached a checkout and 16 sessions converted. So we'll wait and see what the targeting comes up with because sometimes you could be showing your ad to countries that don't really have much of a financial infrastructure and a lot of people are just going to add the item to their cart and not buy the product. It's not too much cause for concern at this point but we would expect to see an improvement on this as time goes on. So we have $680 in sales now what we'll do, we'll minus 5% off of that for Shopify payment and processing fees alongside PayPal fees, which leaves us with $646 in sales. We've sold a total of 23 units at a product cost of $9 each. This amounts to $207. So before ad costs, we're left with $439. So my ad costs are shown in pounds because obviously I'm based in the UK, but I'll convert this all for dollars for you guys as it's more of a nationwide currency. So our total ad cost when converted into dollars from pounds amounts to $427. So we'll minus that from the previous number and we're left with a figure of $12 of profit. So, so having said that, um, if you're going to ask me if this challenge was a success or not, I mean, technically I'd have to say yeah, but honestly, we've got, we've got some time to go before we can really consider this being a successful product or not. So, I mean, it's early days, so to be breaking even at this point, it's worth continuing running ads. If we didn't make any sales whatsoever, then we'd definitely just cut the product there and then and move on to the next one. But with stuff like retargeting and the pixel data getting better and better as it goes on and more budget is spent, it's definitely worth keeping the campaign running. And like I said, we did have a couple of days when we made five sales and made like 60, 70 pounds worth of profit. So I still have some sort of hope for this product. And if you'd like me to do an update video, 
in about a month's time or so, let me know. Definitely be happy to update you on that. As far as does drop shipping still work in 2022? Yeah, it definitely does. If you put the work in and you learn all the steps involved and what it takes to create a successful store, yeah, it definitely does work. If you guys haven't seen my TikTok, have a look over there. I, I've shared a couple of my successful stores which have made me money within the last 12 months or so. But yeah, I hope this gives you a good insight of what a typical dropshipper does on a daily basis when they do everything from selecting their product to creating the content, creating the website, all the way through to running ads. It is my plan to create a full-on step-by-step course of how I've done all of this. So if you'd be interested in that, let me know. I don't want to be one of those typical salespeople that just want to throw their course at you. Um, I want it to be very good and I want to provide a lot of value to you guys and it will be priced quite reasonably too. So alongside that I'm going to be opening some limited coaching slots where I can personally coach you on Zoom once a week for an hour and for all my students the course will literally just be free so if you guys are interested in that let me know it's not going to be for a couple of months though if you like this video please hit the like button definitely subscribe as i'm going to be releasing weekly videos on drop shipping follow my tiktok as i do daily tiktok videos on the subject as well same name mike paxman on tiktok but yeah thank you so much for watching thanks for all the support and i will most definitely see you guys in the next video once again